Hey, how's it going guys? Coach Austin here to explain the leg extension. So key things in terms of setup here. So initially in any exercise, setup is absolutely crucial to mastering the execution because if we don't set up properly to begin with, we're gonna be fighting ourselves immensely to execute the movement right. So that being said, key things here in the leg extension in terms of setup are going to be to make sure this back pad is in a really good position. So how do we know how to line up the back pad or how far forward or back to be? So we want it to be just touching our lower back while our knee is lined up with this axis of rotation. So on any machine, typically there's going to be an axis of rotation in terms of where that machine rotates, that pivot point. So here on this machine, there's this green dot. So that is what I'm looking to line up my knee with, with that axis of rotation. Okay, so the next thing in terms of setup is to make sure that we're not too far lean forward and we're not so far lean back that we're not able to have a stable position. Okay, so the key thing here with the leg extension is that we actually want a really stable pelvis to be able to drive and contract with our quads through that entire rep. Okay, so crucial thing there is going to be actually pulling yourself down into the seat during the leg extension. Next, while performing the rep, we don't want to launch out of the bottom. So a big thing that people talk about is pain in their knee while performing leg extension. Now in this bottom position, this is a very vulnerable position for your knee to be in because we don't really have anything to stabilize our knee in terms of typically when we're doing a squat, for example, our knee is typically stabilized by our calf. So that being said, there's nothing really for our feet to press into. For example, uh, on the squat, we would have our ability to actually use the ground as that opposing force for our feet and for our calf to actually have some stability to then stabilize the knee. So that being said, we need to be sure that our feet, our ankle is dorsiflexed. Okay, we don't really have pointed toes here. Okay, so we, we wanna dorsiflex that ankle, point that toe up to help contract this tibialis, this shin muscle here, to then create some tension here in the calf. Okay, so that's gonna help create tension in the calf which is gonna help stabilize the knee. The next component of keeping pain away from your knee is going to be to actually think about lining your knees up straight out. So another common thing is people, especially with larger legs, typically, or if they're too relaxed, typically get back here and their legs are pointed out to this direction when the knee just wants to hinge in one direction here. So again, this knee is a hinge joint, okay? so. This is something that we're just going to do this motion here, straight up and down, right? So that being said, we want our knees pointed straight in the direction that our knee is going to rotate. So after we get our knees straight ahead, our ankles dorsiflexed, toes pointed up, pulling ourselves down into the seat, creating stability in that pelvis, then what we're going to do is not launch up from the bottom, but think about actually contracting and then squeezing and accelerating through that rep. Okay, so it's not this, as you can see, that got a little out of control. Okay, so it's not, in, it's not on purpose being slow. What it is, is we're starting slow on purpose, but then really accelerating through that rep while contracting with our quads. Okay, so we're not thinking about just pushing this up or getting this pad to a certain destination. Okay, not point A to point B. We're thinking about all of those cues there in the beginning and then slow to accelerate and then squeeze and accelerate up through that rep and at the top, think about actually fully contracting that quad. 